Hey Fossies, it's Jaquel with Fashion Under 50 and I'm here with a few of my favorite things. I hope that you enjoy it. This is going to be the New York edition. I am in my uncle's lovely apartment. I have told them not to bother me so that I can do this vlog for you guys. So I hope you like it. So now, if you guys don't already know, I am a New Yorker that lives in Columbus, Ohio. So when I get to come home for the holidays, it is a pleasure and a delight to sort of run the streets and get things that I can't find as easily or as accessible in Columbus. And this isn't a shot to Columbus because I do enjoy Columbus, but I have had to up my online game so strong because I can't find certain things. So this edition of a few of my favorite things is kind of near and dear to my heart. It's teas. I recently went to Fairway, and if you're in New York, you know what Fairway is. Uh, we had to buy some stuff for Thanksgiving dinner and when I got there guys they had the illest tea section and they have Tivana in Ohio and I'm sure other places because I think there's even some Tivanas here but if you want pure uncut untouched loose tea leaves I was in tea heaven and we're actually gonna go there again um, when I leave here but I wanted to give you guys just a few of the teas that I purchased so that you could see them and how I've mixed them together. So here so goes. First up to that is lavender tea. It's loose lavender. And as you can see, at Fairways, it was $2 for this. I hope you can see that. Can you see it? Yes. And this is a lot. This is a lot of tea and it is so uber fragrant. It is amazing. It, and lavender has amazing calming effects. It's good for you. It's very fragrant. I might even get some more lavender so that I can make lavender scones. I kind of have this thing for lavender. It smells amazing. So I got lavender tea. I'm gonna pull this one up too. This one is rose hips and it's organic rose hips. And this one cost me $3.67, but it was still like very, I knew Chino was gonna come in here. Guys, this is Chena. She's making her rounds. Okay, good, good, good. This is my uncle's dog. <laughs> but rose hips, very fragrant. It looks like um, dried strawberries or dried cranberries, but very fragrant. Very good for you. Another one that's good for you. It was so funny because when I was shopping, I'm going to show you my last one. When I was shopping for it, I was like, oh my gosh what do you want how many of these are you gonna get and I picked these three because I'm like uh, my nose I'm everybody calls me two can sand following the nose it always knows so I knew how all of them smelled I'm like that's gonna be good together but it wasn't until I got home that I found out that the properties for them like and I also have golden chrysanthemum this is golden chrysanthemum I like chrysanthemum tea and this was 216 if you can't see it I hope you guys can see that maybe not but it's basically dried flowers, dried chrysanthemum flowers. And the mixture of these three, like as far as tea, was simply, listen, I have been part of my French so regular since I got home because apparently the chrysanthemum as well as the rose hip is good for like your lower intestines and to keep things flowing it's good for skin um rose hip is good for your skin as well as chrysanthemum they are skin clarifiers and they're just amazing and you're probably like jaquille you have loose tea how does one drink loose tea you just out here dropping dry flowers in water no boo -boo. <laughs> no no i purchased this it is the cutest rubber tea holder and you just open it my mother used this because it's still got some stuff in it look at her um anyway the mixture of the lavender the rose hip and the golden chrysanthemums is one of those mixtures where you don't need a lot of sugar i don't i'm trying to wean off of the sugar so i like more fragrant and aromatic teas and this was perfect i am going to go back and get some more just to try them but for that little cost like all together that's less than ten dollars this was like 4.99 it's a great investment and you get to make your own tea your own level of potency lightness some people don't like tea because it's too strong for them 
go figure but it's true but I liked it because I can determine how much I want if I want more lavender in my tea more rose hip more chrysanthemum I can actually gauge how much I, how much tea I want in my water so it was the greatest purchase as far as loose teas now I didn't just get loose teas I got box teas as well so I'm going to show you the two that I got they're both from Yogi and I have Tahitian vanilla hazelnut now the only reason that I got this was because I thought that it was going to taste like vanilla hazelnut tea and I wanted to try and see if I could wean myself off of coffee it's steeping currently I'm going to taste it for the first time on camera I smelled it, it smells like cinnamon and cloves not pleased but I'm still gonna try it but the second one that I got that I do get normally and I have to get it online because it's very hard to find it unless you're going to like a Lucky's Market in Columbus or some uh, some a more hipster grocery store. It's the Skin T Detox by Yogi. And yes to this. I try not to use this with sugar. I try and drink it, drink it just straight. It's harder, but I have seen a response. Like my skin has responded to it. You can't go out and eat like a pile of chocolate and bad food and expect this to undo all that you've done. But Skin Detox is great if you are doing the whole cleansing thing. These are put together. It has actually rose petals, hibiscus, um, green tea, burdock, yellow dock, and red clover. And they're all to help promote a more a, a glow as well as detox. So this is excellent. Um, Without further ado, you know what I'm going to do? We're going to try the tea. I'm nervous. I'm so nervous. Because I smell the clothes. That's not bad. <laughs> That's not bad. That's really not bad. Okay. It's a keeper. So the Tahitian vanilla is a keeper. It lies. Don't let it lie to you. If you don't like cinnamon and clovish taste, and I don't, but you taste the vanilla. You don't taste any hazelnut. I think they tried to mimic the hazelnut with that cinnamon clove situation. But it's good. I didn't put a lot of sugar in it. I, again, I told you I'm trying to like lower the sugar intake and really enjoy the tea. That's how you can tell if you got some good tea. But that's on point. Coffee, it's not. But good tea it is. So those are my five teas. Let me get one more sip. Of course, that's my mom. So in closing, my two store box teas are going to be the Tahitian Vanilla, which actually turned out to be quite tasty, and the Skin Detox. If you are looking to detox and cleanse yourself, this is definitely one that you'll want to get. And for you loose tea lovers, get yourself one of these or any kind, any kind of tea diffuser if you like quirky ones. This one just seems to work for me because I can also just stir it in my cup and keep diffusing and it's like a little forklift, a little Pac-Man. So, but golden chrysanthemum, rose hip, and lavender. I hope you like a few of my favorite things, New York Tea Edition. As always, please rate, comment, and like. Let me know. Do you like tea? Do you like coffee? Are you both? Are you trying to move to loose teas and have questions on which ones to pick? Do you have a specific type of tea that you're going for because you'd like it to do something for you? Let me know. Hit me up at fashionunder50.com. And also, if you want to hit me up on email, thefashionunder5050 at gmail.com. As always, shop wisely and stay dope. Don't call my name. Nobody talk to me while I do this video.